What's happening, everybody? This is week 37 of 2023 already. We are in September? September. Uh, first, we have the uh, Cigar of the Week. Timestamps will be in the description. This is my week in real estate. This is the Gurkha Symphony, creamy and smooth body, golden Connecticut shade wrapper, Dominican binder, Nicaraguan long filler, flavors of bread, earth, and lemon zest, and it was also rated a 91 by Cigar Aficionado. So my week in real estate, first thing I did last week is I went to Costco and I got some steaks and they're actually kind of expensive. You think you go there to purchase in bulk and save some money, but I'm still paying anywhere from 10 to $14 a steak. But nonetheless, um, I do love this diet. It makes me feel great. And so that's what I did. So Costco, uh, I joined the gym, which I mentioned, and I've been consistent there. I'm getting great workouts in early in the morning. I spent Thursday following up with clients Friday was actually a lot of fun. I went golfing with a buddy of mine. I will usually golf maybe once a year, and I'd say over the last four months, I've been going about once a month. I went and purchased a new driver. It's something that I'm definitely looking to get better at in my spare time. Aside from real estate, or aside from your main passion, hobby, career, I definitely believe that you should have another side, side hobby, side hustle, like some, or just a creative outlet. So golfing is one. And another is DJing. I got a uh, controller that I've been using and I've, I've paid for a course I've been doing online and just been putting in time, even just like an hour or two every day, but it's that consistency. And I think we need that. We need those creative outlets for meant to create. Now, with that being said, I still golf like shit. Uh, <laughs> last, last month when I, when I went golfing at Mission Bay, I did uh, birdie one of the holes, so I was, I was happy about that. But my golf game still needs a lot of work, but consistency is everything. Now, Friday night was really cool. There was boxing, a boxing event, the first live event here at the Piazza. It was called Punches in the Piazza. They had the elevated ring, it was amateur boxing, so that's you know, three rounds, three minutes each. Um, it was an awesome, awesome event. It was great weather, and it was Friday night, and it was packed, and you know, it's about 50 bucks for uh, general admission, but there's not a bad view or a bad seat in the house, more or less. So they started off with uh, the really young kids, like young teenagers, or not, not even teenagers actually. And then it went up into the main event and it was, what was really cool is it went from uh, light out, light and bright to sunset to dark. And it was just, uh, it was a great event and I can't wait for them to do more. So it was a lot of fun. I used, I used to box back in the day and I competed in the amateurs. I had 10 fights. I was about the eight, from the ages of 18 to 21. It's very nostalgic. Uh, definitely wanted to get into the ring a little bit, but uh, we'll save that for next time. Saturday morning, I got it in and played some basketball in OB with the rest of the OBtians. Uh, it's another great creative outlet exercise. And then um, this week, got off to a good start rolling this week. Started following up with clients and um, just being productive. There were only a couple months left in the year. So I'm trying to put in the work now before um, the holidays. So that's it for the week. If you guys have any questions about real estate, buy, selling, investing, you know how to reach me. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great week.